Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages to this brand new installment of the Renegade of Wrestling. I am your host JJ Williams, back to answer your viewer submitted questions. Sorry for the couple days off here, but we made such a big push. I think I had like four shows go up the week going into WrestleMania, just needed a quick breather post-mania. I'm going to get back into what y'all are here to watch me do, and that's Q&A. Logan James Lewis wants to know what my honest opinion of WrestleMania 29 was. Logan, I think WrestleMania 29 was flawed in a lot of ways, but that's the past now. You need to look at the positives of WrestleMania 29. The positives of WrestleMania 29 were, in my opinion, Miz regaining the Intercontinental Champion, although it would be on the pre-show. Positives were Punk and Taker, Triple H Brock. You know, those were really good, positive moments for the show. Now we got to look towards WrestleMania 30, and essentially where it will all begin again. Uh, they're probably not going to use that tagline. They did that for 20, but still. WrestleMania 20 was a really good, really solid top-to-bottom show. And they need to try to duplicate that with WrestleMania 30. And we've got a year now to promote and build up to it. Adam Buskirk says, Hey JJ, I've got two questions for you. First, what are your thoughts on The Miz dropping the IC title back to Barrett on Raw? Personally, I thought it was stupid that WWE would have him win it only to drop it back the next night. I completely agree with you. I was so happy that The Miz got the belt. Nothing against Wade Barrett, but I was looking for Miz to have a nice solid push here for a little bit. And then he lost on Monday. He dropped it right back. It made absolutely no sense. I was pissed off when I saw it. I was sitting on the couch here at the Casa D18 Studios cussing up a storm. It was very stupid booking in my opinion. Now, if you were going to get it off Miz and put it onto somebody else, whatever. Miz transitional champion. But to just have him win it and then lose it back to the exact same guy the next night, Stupid. Why did you change the title in the first place? My second question is, what did you think of that little heel turn that Cena did? I thought it really was a slap in the face to the fans who desperately want him to turn. Hashtag Casa D18 Studios Rock. Hashtag congrats to the new World Heavyweight Champion Dolph Ziggler. I took it as a bit of a slap in the face too because... You've got to think that Cena really wants to turn heel. I've heard rumors that Cena wants to turn heel. That Cena is tired of being the goody-goody babyface, but that Vince and the powers that be are scared to have him turn heel. I did take that as a slap in the face because all of us grown fans that get the business know what money it would be to have Cena turn heel. All you've got to do is go back in the history books and look at 1996 when Hulk Hogan turned heel and joined the NWO and formed that. Hulk Hogan revitalized his career. The fans, like us, started to cheer him again because it was about damn time we were tired of the goody-goody. We knew that he did. He wanted to do something more, and he finally did it. The same thing. Cena needs to just pull the trigger, embrace it full tilt. He had numerous opportunities over the past years, and he had another great one coming out this week right after WrestleMania. But they just won't do it. 
Corey Osborne says, Hey JJ, hope you can answer mine. Do you see Dolph Ziggler holding the belt until SummerSlam or longer? If so, when do you think he will lose it and to who? Also, here is one more if you have the time. Do you think Big E will be a top star soon? Well, let me address the second one first. Do I think Big E Langston is going to be a top star soon? Maybe not soon, but I see good things for him in the future. Um, he seriously is lacking charisma right now. He's got the look. And he's got the ability, but he's seriously lacking the charisma. And hopefully, hanging around guys like Dolph Ziggler will help bring some of it out of him. Do I see Dolph holding the belt until SummerSlam or longer? God damn it, I hope so. Dolph Ziggler deserves to have a CM Punk styled reign with that title. Maybe not Eclipse Punk's 434 days, but still, he deserves to hold that belt for close to a year. Excuse me. For close to a year, if not a full year. Dolph has put in the work and he deserves it. Um, Daniel Quinn from Twitter, at eight, the number 8... Mr. Mojo Ryzen, R-I-S-I-N, and the number eight again. Says, do you think we will see Scott Hall and Jake Roberts back in the WWE now that they have cleaned up? Do I think we'll see them back in the WWE? No. Do I think that they just took a giant leap towards Hall of Fame induction? Yes. Big time. Jake has been worthy of induction for a long time, but his drug past in this PG era with the wellness policy would not look good to the WWE, the haters. So I have a very strong feeling that's why Jake has been held back so long. Same with Scott and his alcohol problems. Um, if Scott Hall is cleaned up and DDP Yoga... You know, does for him what it did for Jake, then I would say look for Reza Ramon or the Outsiders to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, quite possibly at WrestleMania 30. And the NWO, you're probably going to have to wait for Hogan to be done with TNA before you get the NWO in the Hall of Fame. And it would have to be the original three. Not the B team and the Wolf Pack and the Silver and Black and guys like Virgil. No. Hall, Nash, and Hogan. That's it. <clears throat> Final question from Henry Shurek. And yes, this is exactly how it's written. I would turn it around and show the camera, but I don't feel like going through all that. Hey, H-A-Y, J-J. Weigh the scene with Jeff a one-time, or is he going to back full-time with Casa D18 Studios? Huh? Go Sean Ricker on you one more time. Huh? I believe he wants to know was the thing with Jeff a one-time deal, or is he back with the studios full-time? Well, the best way I can put that is like this. Jeff and the Casa D18 Studios, I guess you could say we sort of have a working relationship. Um, he should be coming back very soon with some of his shows, some of which will be filmed right here within the studios. Um, some of you guys have asked to see the roundtables for other pay-per-views. Some of you have asked for the Big Four. Some of you have asked for every pay-per-view. 
Um, we in the studios are kicking around which way we want to do that. If we want to make it for every single pay-per-view or just Mania, Rumble, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. So we're still working out the 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 you know inner workings of that one. But whenever a round table is done, if he is available, Jeff Meacham more, will more than likely be there on the panel. Will his shows be back on the Cast of the 18 Studios channel? At the present time, no. But you will be able to find Jeff Meacham here whenever we do a round table, at least for the time being. So Henry, I hope that answers your question. Um, this is episode 98, if you can believe it. And we got a couple more until Renegade Wrestling hits that 100 episode milestone. What would you like to see me do for my 100th episode? Um, send me video questions. Maybe we can get some video questions onto the 100th episode. Um, send me videos congratulating me on 100 episodes. We'll put some of those on there. If you'd like to see me do an interview, leave it in the comment box that you'd like to see me do an interview, and I'll try and get in touch with somebody out here to do it. Probably won't be anybody major. You know, probably be a SoCal local talent. But I'll try to get an interview on the 100th episode if that's what y'all would like to see. Let me know what you'd like to see on the 100th episode. I'll even put a poll up on my Renegade Wrestling fan page, the one for the show, and the top three vote-getters I will try to do. But you've got to get out there and you got to vote quick because episode 100 is just a couple shows away. I can't prolong it forever, okay, while y'all vote. So, until next time, I'm the Renegade Wrestling J.J. Williams, and I will see you next time right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel.